Hey friends, I am Anil and in this video we will learn how to create a stage gate workflow using the SharePoint designer. So this is my project center of project online. So here you can see I don't have any project. So for a stage gate workflow we have to create some phases and stages for that. Just click on PWA setting and inside the workflow and detail pages you can see workflow phases and workflow stages so to creating the workflow phases click on workflow phases and over here you can see there are some default workflow phases so if you want you can create uh, own new custom uh, workflow phase so just click on new workflow phase and here you can put your first phase as I'm going to put initiate initiate would be my first phase and here you can provide the description as you want just click on save your phase would be created as you expected over here okay and here I'm going to create three to four phases and second phase would be plan Oh, the workflow phase could not be created. A workflow phase with the specified name already exists. It specify a different name. So I will use the default uh, workflow phase as a plan. Now I'm going to create third phase that would be execute. Execute is created. Now create last phase as close. fine so we have created three phase and we will use one uh, default phase that is plan now we have to create some workflow stages just go in PWS setting click on workflow stages click on new workflow stage and put your workflow stage over here so I'm going to put initiation stage would be my first stage and it will come under initiate uh, phase so here you can see the detail pages uh, project detail pages so whatever project detail pages you want you can add inside the stage here I'm going to put all these pages inside my this stage and here you can see there would be some custom fields and you can put the custom field according to you so I don't have custom field any custom field created in my PW center so here I'm um, uh, the custom field list is null okay now create uh, click on save your stage has been created inside a phase you can see over here my stage has been created now I'm going to create the second stage that will be would be planning and planning stage will come under the plan select the pages click on save as same we will create two more stages and third stage would be execution execution stage will come under execute and you can put your stages according to you and now I'm going to create the last stage that would be closer and closer stage I'll put under the close workflow phase finally my all stages has been created so you can see over here 
this is my phase and this is my stage execute is my phase execution is my stage initiate is my phase initiate is my stage plan is my phase and planning is my stage so uh, now we are going to create the workflow using the SharePoint designer I'm going to put this URL just open the uh, SharePoint designer click on open site put my <coughs> uh, PW URL click on open and whenever you will open this you have to put your username and password so here I have my username So here you can see I don't have any workflow now I'm going to create so here you can see three type of workflow list workflow reusable workflow side workflow so here I'm going to create side workflow so here I'll provide the name stage gate workflow you can also put the description over here just click on ok generating local cache downloading metadata from the SharePoint server so it will take a few um, seconds to uh, ready the workflow designer uh, to uh, create the uh, workflow using the SharePoint designer fine so here you can see once you will click on stages your all these stages will come over here okay so first stages was initiation and second stage was planning and third stage was execution and fourth stage was closer now what I will do once you will create the project automatically your project will go in initiation stage then you will put a activity like whenever you will submit your project like in first stage you can create all these your business logic uh, uh, your uh, document management workflow and all these activity activity whatever you want and after that whenever you will submit your stage to go for next stage just put a activity bit for this project event so here I'm going to uh, put a event when a project is submitted go to next stage okay so here I'm going to in next stage just put the stage name would be planning so the same activity I'll uh, I will uh, create in all these stages and this is up to you which activity you want to create over here so here I will select next stage would be execution and here I will select next stage would be closer and once the project will be submit and here I will put the stage end of workflow fine so here you can check for error the workflow contains no error click on OK click on publish and once your workflow will be, uh, would be published 
then we will create a project and we will check that the workflow is working or not for publishing the workflow it will take some few seconds yes workflow has been published we will go on PW setting and we will attach this workflow in EPT ok EPT is enterprise project type so here you can see uh, uh, two PDPs are the default PDP and if you want to create a new PDP just click on enterprise project type and you can put the PDP over here sorry it's ETP it's EPT okay and you can see your workflow name is come over here and you can put your new project page so I have uh, put the project detail page over here and also you can put uh, the project plan template so I have not created any project plan template click on save create a new project with stage gate EPT so from here we will create a new project using the stage gate EPT and here I will put my project name project underscore 001 click on finish once you will click on finish uh, the project will take a few seconds to creating the project and automatically your project will come in initiation stage so uh, once you will click on submit button you can move your project from one stage to another stage okay so now here you can see yes your project is on initiation stage then whenever you will click on a submit button your uh, project will move to planning stage execution stage and project stage and uh, uh, once you will go on projects then you can see uh, yes here is no stage gate view so for a stage gate view click on PW setting click on manage view click on project center view for project center view click new view to show every project in a stage we need to create a stage view so here we will create a project center view ok the name we will provide stage wise view provide the workflow stage name and here we will group by by the workflow stage click on save and now you can see your project in a stage So your project is now in initiation stage. So thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.